Hmm. Hmm. I was gonna make this video tomorrow. I was like, let me just make this video tomorrow. Hold on, let me move the camera in the middle. And it doesn't even make a difference. I just have OCD. But I was gonna make this video probably tomorrow. I was like, let me relax today. <laughs> because something really pissed me the fuck off just now. It really pissed me off to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking wait. I'm just gonna make the video right fucking now. This video goes against some dumb bitch named Pichu. And Destiny as well. But more for this dumbass bitch named Pichu. Oh my god! You just called her a dumbass bitch! That makes you sexist. That makes you a misogynistic asshole. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know for who it makes that? For the dumb, politically correct SJW idiots in the goddamn planet. All you fucking morons out there that want to have your little safe space. Oh my god, I need to get in my safe space. He just said I'm dumb. Oh! Isn't it funny? I just fucking hate all of you. Yes, hate. Because... In this world, you're trying to ruin everything. Do you understand what everything? Well, not everything, but everything that's good. If it was up to you, the world would fucking suck. It would be Blue's Clues. But it would be Blue's Clues for people like me that have the balls to speak out against bullshit that comes out of your mouth. Now, you can say all the bullshit you want and be protected. That's what you're trying to do, because that is what all of you do out there. And by all, I only mean all the SJW fucking pathetic assholes out there that can't stand when people actually say something against them. It really bothers me that you're trying so hard to stop comedy. Not stop comedy. You want to make sure Amy Schumer is out there. You want to make sure... Uh, PG-13 co comedians are out there. If it was up to you, Mr. Rogers would be the PC comedian. Okay? we But we got to make sure that, that, that Mr. Rogers, you know, you could just tell he would be PC as fuck. But, you know, maybe just allow the girls to talk shit. Because that's the funny part about it at the end of the day. The people that call themselves feminist, you know, the SJWs out there, those politically correct people, they're the actual fucking racist people they're the actual sexist people but it's not considered sexist is it as long as it's against the man and as long as it's racist against the white man it's totally okay hey i'm uh i'm i'm the i'm the black guy right now right i'm standing up for my rights yeah the police are killing us they're, they're all, they're killing us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, last time I checked, the black on black crime is one of the worst things in the planet. Wait, what are you, what? That's racist, you white piece of shit. What? Did, it, did you just call me a white piece of, uh, clearly I'm not white, but did it, why is it okay for you to call me a white, why did you even have to say white piece of shit to begin with? Oh, wait, I forgot. You can be racist and it's totally okay because you're not white. As only white people can be... Ra I totally forgot. You see how fucking dumb that even... T it's just hilarious how racist and sexist you can be. As long as it's against a white person. or a, or is it, and, and it works for everyone else. But white people especially, you can be as racist as you possibly want. And it could be people that have never done anything to you in your life. But you could call them white piece of trash. You fucking trailer trash. They even go against Jews. Whatever it is, it's totally okay, baby. As long as you're not white, it's totally fine. And they could even be racist against Asians, but it's okay. Okay, but if you mention black... Oh my god! Ah! 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 Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! It's fucking pathetic. But the thing that bothered me the most... I saw a fucking dumb video against train wrecks. Oh my god, did you just say train wrecks? Don't speak that name out of your mouth. He's horrible. He's horrible. 
Why? Why is he horrible? He's horrible because he speaks his mind. He's unique. He's actually very funny, and he actually has a personality. But what? I thought that's good. No, it's not good. Not in this society. Not on Twitch. We don't want that. We just want Pokemans. We want fucking whores like Jenna. That's what we want. We want people in stockings all day uh, talking about absolutely nothing. And we want SJWs like Alabrel. Alabrel, but Alabrel. That is a whole nother discussion. I don't even want to go into there because I almost felt like vomit just... The vomit almost came out of my mouth. If it was up to uh, everyone, uh, people like Piachu, whatever her stupid name. I don't even know who this bitch is, but I hate her already. Whoever this bitch is, I, it just, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's Ella Burrell's twin a sister or some shit. I, I don't really know. But I saw a video. It was annoying. It's basically, it just came out today, I believe. It's Destiny. And it's Piachu talking to S-Fan. And she's like... Oh, uh, why? Why do you think he's you know misogynist or sexist? And then she's like, "Well, it's because even if he makes jokes against women, um, that's sexist and that's misogynistic." Obviously, this is I'm just you know paraphrasing. It's not like I'm saying everything. You need to go watch it for yourself. But in my mind, I'm like, so let me get this. Let me get this right. Train wrecks makes jokes. A lot of jokes, which what's funny about these jokes is a lot of these jokes are actual, factual, actual, factual. They're jokes. They're funny, but obviously there's truth in it. And you want to know why he has to make it a lot of times into a joke? Because he's on politically correct Twitch where you can't even speak your mind. Well, as long as it's against women, you can't speak. You got to make sure... You better shut up or else you'll get banned. Now, you can talk shit about any guy you want. And guess what? Piachu will never say shit about that. She will not say a word about that. I mean, it's just so funny. You could just talk shit about guys all fucking day. Which, in reality, you should you should see some of the crap I've seen on Twitter. Just the other day, I saw a gay guy, right? Um, it's a good thing that there is an LGB tag, LTGB tag, whatever, whatever that letter people are called. The LTGB tag. It's good there's a tag on Twitch because you get to see all the good gay content and then you know what all the straight shitty content is. And it, you want to know why he, ha he can say this? It's because gay people and women are protected. Now... Let somebody else say that. Who? Let a straight person write that on Twitter and see the hell. See the bombs explode. <laughs> Everything explode. Oh my god, what the fuck? But as long as you're gay and as long as you're a female, you can say these horrible things and it's okay. And the funny part is you should be able to speak and say whatever you feel like it. Because I'm not politically correct. But it's just so funny the backlash it comes from with a straight person writes that same exact thing. And the straight person will think a hundred times over in their head, should I write this? This this is really terrible of me to write. They have to think about it like, oh, I want to write it, but I know how the world is. But when a gay person and a, and a girl, they don't even, I don't even think they think about it. They're like, let me, let me write all this, bu this bullshit. Like nothing, because they know nothing's gonna happen. They're protected by society, because society is turning into the biggest piece of shit PC culture of all fucking time. Even Eminem, the person that used to be so against everything and he used to speak his mind, even he's fucking PC, which makes me wanna vomit. Every single person is so fucking scared. It's it's fucking sad. I'm not scared to say this. It's just like, I just find it hilarious because if train wrecks, and there's so many times train wrecks talk shit about fucking guys, they make it sound like all he ever does, we get it, Squad W, which is funny because Squad W is a real fucking thing, double standards are real, 
Stop pretending like they're not. Let me clap my hand like a ghetto person. Anyways, I it's just so funny. It's just people pretend like double standards don't exist. There's a reason why he does the Scout Squad W. Fucking train wrecks for president, please. Because at least he's fucking entertaining and he tells the truth. You just want him to hide under his fucking desk and paint your fucking toenails. That's what it is. And it's funny because so many people... What is it called when you talk shit about train wrecks then? Are you misogynistic? Are you sexist? No way, I'm a female, of course. You can get away with talking all the fucking shit you want. Because you know Twitch is going to have you there like this, cradling you like a little bit. Um, little baby. Uh, can, can we go on a date? Can we go on a date? Um, no. Uh, I'm still going I'm, I'm to cradle you, though. Um, uh, nice shirt. Uh, that's, what, that's what Twitch is going to do to you. That's why you're... It's just so fucking hilarious how many girls will talk shit about guys all fucking day. Who get it? But who cares, right? There's nothing sexist there. Who cares? That's okay. But when a guy says the actual truth about what's going on on Twitch platforms, double standards, maybe he just doesn't want to take it anymore. Kind of like all the women that complain about guys all fucking day. All women say how guys are garbage all fucking day. That's what they do all day. <laughs> what the fuck? Men are dogs. Uh, uh, men are, are pieces of shit. Uh, you know, men are all, this, all these things, even though when it's time to build the building or when it's time for the cops, and uh, you're certainly okay for them to save you, though. It's, when it comes to that, well, it's convenient when they want to give me some money. You know, it's, it, it's convenient how you want, you want to use guys when it's convenient for you, but you still want to talk shit about them. It's just fucking sad. In all reality, I feel everyone is equal. I don't even give a flying fuck about you're a girl, you're a guy. Like, who who cares? It's just too much thought goes into it. But let's not pretend as if there's not a gigantic double standard. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing so many fucking snowflakes complain all day. And they're being racist. And they're being sexist. And it's funny because I don't even call them... I don't even like to use those words. Those words are just used so you can make someone look terrible. But it's funny you're only using it because it's not being used against you. So I guess that's why you use it so goddamn much. I never heard a, a girl... Call, say all this crap against me. Like if a girl says, oh, this guy sucks. He's terrible guy. I'm not going to go, you're sexist. You're sexist. And I'm like, why would I, why, why would I, what does sexist have to do with you calling me a piece? Everyone, in, everyone is a piece of shit. There's a reason why they made a song called Slipknot. I think a song called Slipknot. No, I mean, Slipknot made a song called People Equal Shit. And this is exactly why people equal shit. This is why the world is fucking lame. And the world is going to keep going towards this way. The double standards are fucking amazing in this world. And it's so funny how everyone wants to shit on men all fucking day. Even men shit on men all day. Because I guess that's how they think they're going to get into the girls' panties or some shit like that. And I'm sick and tired of it. I don't give a fuck if you're a girl. I don't give a fuck if you're gay. I don't give a shit if you're a guy. I don't care about your ethnicity. I don't care about any of those things. Number one thing I care about is do you have a heart and does your heart work? That's all I care about. Do you actually consider people's feelings? Do you consider how they feel? Do you want to help people out? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? That's what all that matters to me. That's the only way I want to talk to a person is if they're actually a human being. But it's just I'm just I'm just sick and tired of the double standards. And I would love to have a conversation with Pia Chu one day. I know exactly what to ask her, and I just want to hear her fucking response. S fan just didn't want to argue. Another guy that I think is hilarious, and he always makes me fucking laugh because he's just he's like me. He's always trying to think of something to be funny and shit like that. But I know he holds back. He doesn't really want to say what he really wants to say, how he feels. Because he knows how PC, he, in his mind, he's probably like, I'm probably going to get banned. The Pichu girl, she's like, I'm just going to say whatever I want because I'm cradled by Twitch no matter what I say, baby. I'm cradled. I'm cradled. It doesn't matter. 
She's cradled it, and she doesn't have as much to lose as someone like S Fan does. He knows what platform he's on, so he's gonna be quiet no matter what. Even Destiny could. Funny part of Destiny is it, it, it's just funny. Destiny, I don't even know how he's even say. He, imagine him calling Trainwreck sexist, and he's and he's like, well, I say the I like to say the N word as a joke with my friends, you know, blah 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 blah. That's how that how hypocritical. What the fuck? He says he does that, and he's like, I'm not racist. I'm not even calling Destiny racist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even calling him racist, but it's just like people calling him racist. He doesn't like it when they call him racist, but I'm like, but hey, I mean, you said with your friends in context, you say the N-word, blah, 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 blah. It's the same thing. So it's just at the end of the day, it's just they're trying so hard. To go against something different. And that's how Twitch is going at the moment. All they want on Twitch at some point. They don't want anyone that's that actually speaks their mind. They just want a bunch of fucking money making uh, scumbag. Like money money making scum, scumbag sell out fucking people that only care about making money. Shut the fuck up. Don't say anything against women, gay people. Don't say anything about anybody, okay? Now, make sure. But these are the things you can say. Make sure to uplift women, you know, because that's what you got to do every single day, uplift the women. Uh, it, when a girl goes up the stairs, I'm supposed to say, wow, good job. When a guy goes up the stairs, who oh, fucking cares? Hmm. Let me put on my shoes. But you're, but, but you're a guy putting on your shoes. A girl <laughs> puts on her shoes. She put on her shoes. Let's treat her like a fucking child. That's the, that's the funniest part about it. That's that's the funniest part about it. I don't give a fuck. If I'm a, if I play drums and I'm really good at drums and I see a girl that's really good at drums, I'm gonna be like, wow, she's a she's fucking great for. She's a girl drummer. She's great as a girl for a girl. That never comes out of my fucking mouth because I'm not dumb enough to not understand that anyone can do whatever they want, whether you're a fucking girl or you're a guy. That's it's just always turned into something. Every every conversation you can talk, but it's so funny how fast you're fucking racist, you're sexist, you're misogynistic is brought up by these fucking corny SJW people out there. Go to hell. Oh wait, we already are in hell. At least I feel like I'm in hell with it because I'm surrounded by all these fucking people that are just ruining the goddamn planet with their fucking bullshit. And I hope that this offends you. Whoever this offends, your brain three head, baby. Really small brain, low IQ. Of course I'm going to offend you. And I'm going to offend more people than I'm not. You want to know why? Because there's more fucking morons in the world than there are actual people that tell the truth in the world that actually have brains that work. So enjoy going with your agendas, you piece of shit streamers out there. And not only streamers, just in general. Continue with your agenda and your, uh, you know, your, 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 oh, racist. And, uh, continue because you know what platform you're on. You're going to keep doing that thing. Me personally, I'm not. If Twitch wants to ban me, guess what? I've been banned twice. For what? What did you get banned for, Criminal Juice? You want to know who banned me? Guess guess how I got banned. Some girl, I'm not going to mention her name. She's a streamer. E-girl streamer, by the way. Anyways, I was cool with her for a little while, but I just decided, man, you're full of shit. I'm just going to unfollow you. Then I just didn't follow her, didn't even talk to her, didn't start any problems. <laughs> Guess what happened, baby? Um, one day, she, I guess on her stream, she talked about how I unfollowed her to her, what, her white knights. And guess what her white knights did? They came to my stream and they reported me over and over and over and over and over. A bunch of reports by this one guy, this fucking loser. He literally, I literally got reported and I didn't do shit. He just made up self-harm. When do I do any self-harm to myself? But guess what? I got banned for it. Did Twitch care to look at any of it? No. I wonder why I got banned, though. Hmm. 
I got banned for like a week for self-harm that never happened to me. A litany never got banned. Hmm. That's strange. Wait a minute. I got banned longer for doing self-harm that I never did to myself. Longer than someone showing their vagina on stream? Hmm. And then you wonder why stuff like Squad W exists because it's fucking factual. It is what's happening. Stop being so full of your sh yourself. And also, if you're not sexist as you call it, all the women on Twitch out there, you know, that like to call guys sexist all day. If it's not sexist, how come we don't hear you talk our, our um, um, four guys, huh? Huh? You're always for the girl's cause. You're always there when there's a cause. For the girl, you're always there. You're always there for the women's rights, aren't you? Men's rights don't matter. It doesn't matter. You never hear them talking about, but there are some. I'm not saying all, by the way. I know exactly the ones that I've heard that actually do know that there's double standards and, and shit like that. I know, I've seen you. You, are, you girls are fucking awesome, and I'm so happy that you're not following the bullshit meta the way the Twitch is. I'm so happy that you speak up and you see where the bullshit is. For Want to know why? Because you actually have an IQ. Thank you. This was 21 minutes. I had a lot to fucking say, and it just makes me fucking tired. I can't wait for people to... After everything I just said... I cannot wait to be called sexist or misogynistic because if what you got from everything I just said, it just proves you didn't watch this whole video all the way through and you just heard certain words that you wanted to hear, which is what SJWs usually do. They'll hear one part and they'll be like, SEXIST! But look at him saying, oh, let me cry for the cops can arrest him. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he's right over there. He's cold. He touched my shoulder. <laughs> You're under arrest, criminal juice. You touched your shoulder. But she literally grabbed my cock. Who the fuck cares, man? Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching this. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching my video. I stream on Twitch. You can uh, follow me there. I have a Discord. And I also have a Twitter. Thanks for listening. This, as you can see... This is there's just a lot more I have to say on this subject because it pisses me the fuck off. And that's it. And thank you for the people that actually, you know, listen to the whole entire thing and then then decided now I can make my opinion about what you're saying. Sorry for saying a lot of facts out there, by the way. I'm just tired. Um, if you want equal rights, why don't you treat people, I don't know, equally? Just a crazy thought. Treat people equally and... There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uploading this tomorrow. Suck it.